Hi, this is Dr. Pat, and I'm so absolutely excited about the privilege of being able to share with you our most recent project that we've been working on. Uh, there's several things. We've been dealing with health care uh, concerning women in Agosito, Togo, in Islamic and regions that have been really completely steeped in the occult. We're providing a scanner for them and hooking a generator up to it and going from village to village to village, uh, doing medical clinics from sun at the sundown. Then we're providing an irrigation system. We've been, that's another project, to provide clean water and an irrigation system in a place called Banagvi Benin so that the women can have, and the people in that entire village can have clean water. That's been our effort since the beginning of the year. But now our greater focus has been for the last uh, three months has been. The first year began, first quarter began with the clean water, but now we're fighting and pushing like never before to get as many children in classrooms as we can. 130 million children have never entered a classroom, and we're now about to embark upon one of the most greatest projects. I'm so excited to be working in West Africa in Islamic regions as well as very occultic regions. For years we've done this for young girls that could not go to school. In most cases when the family has limited money it's the girls that do not get a chance to be educated. The boys get a chance to go. Not just in Islamic regions but in underdeveloping countries. We are putting hundreds of young girls in school and children at large. In Haiti, we just returned from Haiti putting children in school, believe it or not, in those regions, children can go to school in the state school for $12 a year and for the private schools, 80 to to $100 a year. We're asking you to help us as we go into West Africa to put as many young girls, as many young boys, as many children in school that have never had a chance to see in the inside of a classroom. We're calling it Life on Purpose. We believe that when you educate a child, you empower them. An educated mind and a developed mind is a mind that's open for God to be able to use. We've done this for years in Islamic countries, in Western Sahara, uh, a small Islamic region where we provided a literacy center for girls to be able to go to school. Islamic girls that would not have had a chance to go to school. Why is the enemy so against young girls or girls period not being educated? It is the spirit of misogyny. It's that same spirit that we see all the way back in the garden where a declaration was made, a fiat by Almighty God, a decree, an arbitrary decree that says you might have crushed her heel, but she, the female, the woman, shall crush your skull. And the enemy hates that. So in every way, the spirit of misogyny, that spirit that hates the advancement and the development and the freedom of women. We're not talking about women's lib at all. We're talking about kingdom liberation. The enemy wants to hold that female child back because God has already made a declaration that she's gonna crush your skull. Come and help me educate as many young girls, as many young boys, as many children that have never had an opportunity to be developed, those that have been underserved, as we not only go throughout West Africa, but continue in Haiti, and also in the Middle East Islamic countries, help us to provide for them life on purpose. One of my most favorite opportunities have been when we had the privilege invited by the president and the ambassador at large to go into Western Sahara, a little tiny remote African nation in Northern Africa, 100% Islamic. There in the Sahara Desert, over 130 degrees scorching heat and freezing at night, we had an opportunity to bring young girls a literacy center and a training and learning center so that young girls in Arabic Muslim countries can have an opportunity to be educated and go to school and now break the systemic chain of poverty. Did you know that 130 million children have never entered a classroom? We're transforming the lives of young kids and children around the world that have never had an opportunity to go to school, neither their parents or their parents' parents before them. And these young kids can go to school for $80 a year. MTM has given them an opportunity to be educated, to stimulate their learning, and our curriculum deals with integrity, character development, and accountability, and nation changing, challenging these young people to understand who they are in Christ Jesus.